Let's see a question from Laplace transform. We need to find the Laplace transform of 1 minus e raised to power t divided by t. So again, uh, as usual, we'll break the question into two parts. First, we'll find the Laplace transform of 1 minus e power t. Then we'll use the division by t property. So Laplace of 1 minus e power t. So we can rewrite this as Laplace of 1 minus Laplace of e raised to power t. Laplace of 1 we all know is 1 upon s. Laplace of e raised to power t is 1 upon s minus a. a here is 1 so 1 upon s minus 1. Now division by t property which says if we divide this by t we will have to integrate from s to infinity of whatever we got in the previous step. So 1 upon s minus 1 upon s minus 1 with respect to s. So this will be integral of 1 upon s is ln s minus. Here you will get ln s minus 1 from s to infinity. In the bracket you can still use the log property which says log a minus log b provided the base is same is log a by b to the same base. So we can write this as ln s divided by s minus 1 and go from s to infinity. Since we have an infinity here, so what we can do is divide numerator and the denominator by s. So we'll get ln 1 divided by 1 minus 1 by s. Now it is perfectly fine. So we can put infinity here. So 1 upon infinity is 0. 1 by 1 is 1. And ln 1 is what we will be getting. Minus. If we put the lower limit, we will get ln 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon s only. Log 1 is 0. So better not write that. Minus ln. Now we can again simplify this. Simplified version will be this only s upon s minus 1. Now this minus sign can jump on the power and this will get flipped and we'll get ln s minus 1 divided by s. Okay. So this is, uh, you may write log in place of ln. There is no uh, problem whatsoever. So if you want to write the final answer, 1 minus e power t divided by t you can write that as log of s minus 1 divided by s. So again, as usual, we broke the question into two parts. First, define the Laplace transform of 1 minus e power t and then the division by t property made our life a lot easier.